Hey there, I the other fire family, and welcome to another reaction. This time, we're reacting to the second Hell of a Boss shorts, Mission Antarctica. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Can't wait to see what this is going to be about. There is audio, right? Okay, that that, and I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna pause much because this is only like a four minute. I'm not gonna say episode, but four minute video. So I'll go through the details again after I watch it. Man eating, man eating beast. Christ on stick, I'm freezing my. Oh, there's this Christ on a stick line. Where is that thing supposed to be? Listen, don't let it freeze off. Souls needs that. Listen, we know the last time you guys went to a really cold, frozen like planet or exoplanet, um, you guys kind of got your asses handed to you, and Souls had to bail you out. In case none of you know that reference, it's a reference to the uh, Murder Jones versus Hell of a Boss video. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. It's really good. Even though I guess I technically spoiled spoiled it if you haven't seen it, but you know, still watch it. It's good. Yikes. Yeah. What happened here? Oh. These guys were what and or who could have done this? Yeti? Uh, Scene lion? Wait, I just realized they freaking have their the tips of their tails and mittens too. <laughs> so cute. You, you got a Is it a demon yes, seal or something? Sweet. Let's turn him into some Cheese. You and your cheese. Let's. Oh, that thing's definitely not normal seal. Take a deep breath. Hold it. Fire. Eat shit in hell, polar slut. I don't think Good it's job, dead. Not sh shit. Uh, what? What's the problem? This slut wasn't running toward us. He was running away. away. Look! Drop him! That's like 10. Well, 10? Really, Blitz? 10? <laughs> okay, no. One of them is serious. I, I know that one of them is voiced by Brandon. I, the, I, and that's the middle one. I'm telling you that. <laughs> it sounds like Brandon. Slurs. What the fuck? <laughs> and wait. I, I don't know if I'm correct or oh slurs uh <laughs> i don't know if i'm correct or not but don't penguins actually have like a mouth like their their beak is actually filled with like teeth or something like that i mean they're making it over dramatized and stuff but like it's actually like backwards teeth that are like look like feathers on their tongue or it's their tongue that has it or something i don't remember the slurs oh i don't think biting it will work I mean, yeah, kiss it, love it, lick it. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like, it's like the, what is it? The bop it thing? Twist it, bop it. Instead, it's kiss it, lick it. Rub it? I don't know. <laughs> They're probably thinking if this is what's, why does Solus like you? <laughs> if this is how you make out and stuff, I, I I mean, yeah, it is a good question. See, I'm a fucking top. I'm a top. <laughs> Wait a minute. When he says he's a top, that still includes making out and French kissing, does it not? Or is he? S oh. Wait, no. That's still a top. Because I was just thinking, cause, you know, when you're doing the oral, like, and you're giving it to, like, you're the top, you still use your tongue. Like, that would be more like if he was the bottom. So yeah, that still doesn't make sense. That still doesn't make sense, Blitz. <laughs> I mean, you know what? This is probably turning Blitz on because I mean, don't we know that from past things that Blitz has had like a certain thing for Moxie and Millie's relationship and like wishes he was a part of it. So this is probably like his fantasy come to life, at least from Mo like for Moxie or not for Moxie, but like at least he's getting it from Moxie. Now Millie just needs to get <laughs> Oh God, I can just see the fan fest coming from this. She's like, yeah, that's my man. That's what, but is it Moxie at the bottom? Well, I mean, that doesn't mean he still can't give Millie. You know what? I'm not having that talk right now. Can we go, please? 
I'm sorry. I love all the just the slurs popping up all over the place. Fried penguin? The one survivor. You're gonna get crushed by something. Or no, you just survive. Okay. Okay. Had it. Had it. How do we go from a short that was like really touching and sweet between Millie and uh, Sally Mae? And then we get this like one where it's just like random rabid seal and penguins and all this stuff. And then freaking Moxie making out with with the, the, uh, the Asmodeus stone crystal. Like what? All right, hold on, let me let me go through this again. So what was it? So you got the photo of the station, of course, the boss bitch. I got my own boss bitch. Black. Wait, why am I being shown? B, you're blocking it. Because I'm the real boss bitch. There we go. <laughs> um, you got. See, look at there's that freaking all the way. He still has those the the bird Millie and the Moxie when he would like make them make out or do whatever, and then he did the like mm, thing under the table. <laughs> Um, let's get that. Target question mark. Location Antarctica near Mc, McMur McMurdo Station. Really murder. Description. A man-eating beast. No clear description. Info. Client wants us to hunt down the man-eater that killed him and now poses a risk to his fellow researchers. Personally, I think he's being a little bitch. He's already dead, so why go through the trouble of hiring someone to... Why are you still typing? Are you writing this all down? Mox, I swear to... Fucking Satan, you are beyond stupid. <laughs> I was wondering that. I didn't get to read that before. So I was so confused. I'm like, who, who, like, what was their job here? Like, I was so confused. I thought, okay, they came here to kill, like, some kind of demon that came over in the realm and was killing humans or whatever. But then I'm like, no, their client has to be human. So I'm so, I was so confused. But now it makes sense. <laughs> So it's one of the researchers that did it. Freezing my little red cock off. Where is also, I love how he said my little red cock. <laughs> little. He doesn't say my big. He says little. And I also still love that they put mins on the tips of their tails. It's cute. Cute little detail. And yeah, they're all... I love how one's just in the ceiling. Like, if it was penguins that did this and not... Okay, I'm curious. If the seal wasn't the one that killed them... And the penguins did. Why the fudge did the penguins put like one up in the ceiling? Yeah. What happened here? Death. Could have done. And also, did did Millie detach the head? Shreds. I've seen rat face. Ugh, ugh, the squeaky, squelch Wait, noise. Man, how demonic that seal looked. Poor seal was trying to run. <laughs> the way it just face plants. And I love how Blitz's reaction to seeing all of this is, oh, that's ten of them. Fuck, that's like ten. Well, maybe those ones are not. Also, I just noticed that Millie has a freaking heart on her, that's either a heart on her belt or over her. I think it's on her belt. Who are they? Who are they? I definitely recognize one. I, I hear Brandon in one of them. I'm not sure about the others. I don't hear Viv. Wonder if they put in the credits. I mean, one of them could be Bryce, but I don't hear it. I feel like I know one's Brandon, but I don't know the others. Maybe one's Richard. I love the series of the one that. <laughs> oh, I just thought it was freaking Moxie's face, the little bead eyes. <laughs> Yeah, I think it is there. You know what? I gotta look this up real quick. I think I'm pretty sure penguins have those teeth. Yeah, they do. I thought so. Yeah, they do. They have these weird. Let me open it in a tab and zoom it in. Yeah, they have this like. They have these like weird feather teeth in their. Okay. I love how they made them actually look like teeth in the uh, episode. Or made them teeth, not look like it. In this whole part with the stone. And Blitz, what do you mean you're getting used to it? You were using it like flawlessly in the last episode. And I'm not gonna lie, that thump noise right here kind of sounded like stock footage, like sound effect, like something you would hear in, I don't know, 
uh, regular animation. Like somebody, I don't know. That did not, that, I'm sorry, that did not sound like it matched with everything else. It sounded way too, like it was recorded by something like a non-professional or not. Like, I don't know, it sounded stocky. That sounds so weird. Compared to all the other sounds at least. I love how she, <laughs> also, when you, we saw Blitz use it in the episode before, or not episode before, because this isn't an episode, but like, uh, the latest episode that came out, when he used it, I think it was, he just touched it, like, he just went like this, he wasn't stroking or anything, he just touched it. So, maybe it's the feelings behind it, because he intended, he was trying to go around and apologize, so maybe it's his feelings behind it, whereas this is, he's scared, panicking, freaking out, desperation, I don't know, so maybe that's not what it needs. Also, the way his mouth just went like straight, like triangle. Uh, <laughs> I love their faces. They're just like, uh, is this how you French kiss? Or give, you know, tongue? I'm a fucking top. Also, well, this confirms to the fandom that he is a top, not a bottom. Try spelling the alphabet. Wait, I just noticed that Moxie was blushing when he said that. Why? Is it because he's giving away a tip? I'm actually curious, does that work? Spelling the, uh, okay, I don't need to know that. I'm just curious, I'm, I will ask this. You know, I could just look it up afterward, but like, I'm curious now, does that actually work? Spelling the alphabet with your tongue? Like, hmm. Also, I love how he was trying to say AB and he, um, he like messed it up. Also, I love that technically, this is the closest Blitz and Moxie have gotten to ever like kiss because Blitz was just getting his saliva all over that. And then Moxie just takes it and starts licking. I feel like this is the closest we're going to get to these three being a thing. Also, <laughs> Millie's face. She's like, oh, so this is what it looks like from the single. <laughs> when I'm the one watching instead of being the one having it done to. <laughs> Bless. Oh, damn. <laughs> Millie's so proud. Plus, is just staring at his hand like, well. <laughs> I love Blitz's face when he gets like shocked. Uh, oh, Moxie's embarrassed. He's such a sweetie. I also like the music or the rocky like. I know it's like that's typically their theme is like guitar and stuff, but I like it here. It sounds more ominous, but then like badass. Wait, was that one penguin's face like? Well, I mean, this one too, but they're just like, oh shit. <laughs> of course, Millie would be like cackling evilly over it. And they have the one survivor. Slurs. Well, at least they didn't have to bleep anything out. <laughs> All right, now I want to see the voices. I, I, they better put Brandon as one of the penguins. Okay, they said as Blitzo. So didn't say the penguins. Oh, come on. You couldn't have put the penguins as like a joke, like who voiced them? I want to know. Darn it. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts, even though I don't think there'll be much, but yeah. Okay. Well, like I said, I don't think there's been much for me to add for the thoughts because this didn't really have lore or anything. It's not like with Sally Mae and Millie's short where it was like, oh, the time went into the relationship. It was sweet and cute and that kind of stuff. This was just mainly comedy. <laughs> that's what this was. Comedy and some action. Um, uh, which honestly, that's kind of what I was expecting from shorts for Hell of a Boss. I was expecting the first one to be like, oh, we're, we're hitting with the feels with the, you know, Sally Mae and uh, Millie. Um, so of course the next one would be, I think they're like, they knew that. They're like, you know what? The fans didn't expect us to like hit them again with emotions, especially after the latest episode. Um, but now let's give them comedy and like a little bit of action. <laughs> but uh, I mean, we kind of got a little bit of back, not backstory. Um, lore, lore on Blitz that he is confirmed to be a top now, and also we got to see how Moxie uses his tongue. I don't know. There wasn't like it was mainly I think just comedy for this. Um. So it's not really much for me to say, uh, but plot, characters, animation, music, 
Music, I would say, was good. Not great. Like, I liked the music at the end part, mainly when they were, uh, you know, about to go through the portal and stuff. But mainly, I would say it's the comedy uh, was great. Uh, so, but, I mean, yeah. Plot, characters, animation was great. And then the comedy was great. The action wasn't really much, so I can't really say. I, I really feel this was just, I don't know, something lighthearted. Does that mean that the next episode might be, like, really feelings heavy or something? That's why they're trying to give us something funny before... You know, the calm before the storm. <laughs> I don't know. Even though the last, like, two episodes have been pretty emotional. So, <laughs> are we going to get, like, three episodes in a row that are emotional? So, we're like, you know what? You get a break between the last one and the next one because, uh... Or you get a break because, uh, yeah, the next one's going to be emotional. <laughs> I don't know. Because I think the next one, isn't it? Um, we're getting in August or September. And I think it's the... Is that the ghost that first one? Is it? I don't remember. I'm trying to remember. I know we get ghost efforts in October. So maybe it's... Because I know we're like this month or... Yeah, it's still technically this month. Uh, or I'll just say July. Uh, we got a break. So we didn't get an episode July. But I think we're supposed to get one in August, September, and then October. And then skip November and go in December. I'm not sure what it was. Because um, I know we have Sinsmas. So that's definitely got to be December. Um... Ghost Efforts has to be October, so I'm not sure if it's August or September or we're skipping to that. Anyway, yeah, anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, cute short. Um, I'm not sure if... I'm guessing that it's going to be a short, like... I wonder, is there a thing going to be like a short every one to two episodes? And if so, that's, you know, that's actually a smart way for them to kind of fill in the gap between episodes so it doesn't feel quite like such a, you know... It doesn't feel like there's less Hell of a Boss content for us, or it's such a long wait for Hell of a Boss content. So it's actually a smart thing they're doing with these shorts. Um, and I'm enjoying them. So far, like, we're getting both the feels ones and the comedy ones, so I'm good. Um, but yeah, uh, those are my thoughts for this short. I hope you enjoy the reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and keep running bright. See ya!